month is second half of September. And what that means is it gives us an opportunity to think about what we can take from our home and donate and what we can buy second hand. Oxfam do this every year. So I thought I'd start today. We're gonna to go through some second hand stores and I'm gonna give you tips and tricks on what to buy and what to donate. This is my donation today. Oh, Who says I'm fine, thank you to Isabel Morant. Oh. Kate Middleton flying saucer yes. moment, isn't it? <gasps> All gonna know which ox this is. Hi darling, I want to just give you these. Ideas. When I look at what I'm donating, let's just start with that, all right? And I thought, how often do I wear them, all right? And how much you're gonna wear them? Because I, I look at this and I say, Lila, will you ever wear it? And you go, no. no. But there's things that I no longer fit. And frankly, I'm never gonna fit. So some lovely Zara trousers I was in love with. There's some bags, so I thought, let's give it a new home. I had a sequin moment from a very nice something fairy. Then I've got another sort of thing from Zara, which I do think could be cool again. What do you think, Molly? It could be. It could be cool. I might just think, do you want it? You said no, if you I'm love fine, it. I'm fine, thank you. She's fine, thank you. I mean, who says I'm fine, thank you to Isabel Moron? That needle thread dress, 70 quid, like Lila has always wanted a love shack fancy dress, but needle thread very similar. Unbelievably deal. Shoes come back into fashion, but when they come back into fashion, there's a, sometimes a little tweak. These are Diane von Furstenberg, and you know, it's a classic silver and black shoe, and they're 70 quid. I'm always looking for color. I could so find a place for that in my wardrobe if you suit colours and you're thinking you're lacking colours. Great to start in second hand, feel you're not spending a huge amount, you're not doing fast class fashion. Jackets always are, you're either going to get really retro and then it becomes cool or they're slightly off and you think, can I wear it? So it's about, can you belt it? Can you lift the arms up? Can you do things to make that jacket fun? But I'm going to show you now how I might style it up. If I kind of did it like that, I take a belt, you lose that shapelessness of it, and it becomes something that is fun. These are now something that's taken life on its own, so you've got to have imagination when you're in a second hand store. Yeah, you know, I've got three sets of black trousers. I've got that sort of stretchy, you know, fits easily. 18 pounds. I mean, a leopard print boot, 25 pounds. It's Aldo. A leopard print little booty is cute. With sort of skinny black legging and a cool dress, you could really make it something. Skirt, pleated, chest, 22 pounds. You might go for that, belt it, and make it super cool. And could be from quite nice brand. Interesting, because the kitten heel has come back. And if this was in leather, could be something you got from Prada or Zara last week. But in suede. Jewelry is a thing that a friend of mine, Pippa, she will find things and I'll go, God, that's amazing. You go, Oxfam, Kensington High Street, Dudlam, Oxfam, Notting Hill Gate. She knows it so well and she gets the most incredible jewelry pieces. I'm like, I would have paid so much money for what she finds. The sunglasses are always coming in and out of fashion and, you know, a classic Ray Ban, £55, really worth doing. So let's do the next door. First charity shops I ever went to was British Red Cross charity shop at this location when I was 18. So we're going to see what they've got. It's slightly different from Oxfam. When you choose secondhand stores, it's important to think of the location. If you want to find really great designer stuff, some secondhand charities will spread the designer stuff that comes more into one location than another around. But others make a point that the donations people are given locally stay local. You know, but hats are really expensive to buy. So just finding something fun, you know, if you've got a wedding and you think, I don't want to spend one, two, three, four hundred. I mean, hats can be so expensive. It's slightly Kate Middleton flying saucer yes. moment, isn't it? I love it. I'm going to buy that. That is just, and a navy suit going to the races. This is, let's see how much it is. It was 40, it's 20. I think it's fabulous. So that chinoiserie inspired dress, which Galliano used in many of his collections. Cole Kidman wore at a premiere once in that lovely chartreuse green. It's something that would never go out of fashion. It's 50 quid. It's in perfect condition. There aren't any marks on it. It could look so elegant. Look at that, Bruce Oldfield. I used to hang with him a little bit in the 80s and 90s. Such a lovely man. Had the shop on each place. Brings back memories immediately. And the color is great, but it's so 80s to me. Could you do something with this? I think if the fabric was in a better state and it wasn't such a soft fabric, you could do a stripy, skinny jumper underneath and wear it with a pair of jeans. Belts, the thing I buy the most in secondhand stores is belts because belts never look dated and there's like every single belt here is interesting. Really nice belt. If you are short-waisted and long-bodied and it's 20 
that, to me, I mean, I don't think I'm fit it. You know, I said don't get suede with shoes, but with a belt, you're gonna have less wear and tear. And usually the wear and tear you'll have is where it went in on mm. the buckle. Chesky, darling, you've got glasses. Well, you've got, she's got eyes. 17 pounds. That is super. I love this. The color is beautiful. It's a man's jacket, so the sleeve length is fantastic. The one thing I'm gonna say, okay, I'm gonna say something about moths, because Lila buys a lot from Depop, and while she's not listening, I can tell you this. We've got a few moths come inside the house, and I know why they've come inside the house, because Lila's got second hand, and it's been mothy. So what I would say is if something like that, you're gonna think, what's the cost? And what's the cost of dry cleaning? Things like this could be mothy, and they could just be sleeping, waiting to come out, wake up, turn into new baby moths, and munch your other clothes. Who's never owned a pair of Manola Vine? That kitten okay. heel, he nearly invented the kitten heel, I have to say, and he's the most beautiful shoe designer, and that is £45 to you. And his shoe started like you can go for fabulous totally match shoe, and you can wear that if you're this way inclined with orange tights in the winter and that in a way feels timeless to me that shoe and they are 30 pounds what was the brand sports max okay let's get these and then we're going to go to our next one which won't be a charity one it'll be a designer one and you'll see the difference in the prices now we're off to our final shop on the King's Road. There are many on here, which is a second-hand designer shop. Prices have changed dramatically from Oxfam and Red Cross. Because you know everything's genuine. You've got to trust the store. So I sell and buy on Vestia Collective and they authenticate. So they have somebody from Chanel, somebody from Hermes, somebody from Gucci who work for them who say that is a real one. And until it's authenticated, money doesn't exchange hands. Somewhere like this, you have to trust that they are. So you can either look at something that's really expensive, you can go back home, you can look at that year of those collections and look up online and you'll find to see if they made that bag. They're amazing fakes, some of you might have bought from. There are occasions when I see an unusual Chanel bag on a friend of mine, I go, <gasps> and they go, it's a fake. So clothes here are very different. They're all done by color, they're beautifully displayed. You kind of go up and you might be in a boutique, not in a second-hand store. Fabulous dress, actually, 245 pounds. And that's from Caroline Herrera. Really expensive American label, and that probably would have been like 600 pounds originally. Lina, when she was little, we went to America, she was obsessed with this t-shirt. And I think something like that's interesting. Would you do something like that, you know? I like the boots. Yeah, the boots are phenomenal. Balenciaga, 295. These new would be about 600%. I'm not going to be drawn in. Gucci boiler suit. I mean, you know, this is like, you're seeing the main things here. 675. That's a kind of incredible version of the sleeveless field. It's not for you guys, but it's part of me. I'm sorry. I can imagine that with your rainbow. <laughs> now that's interesting. Kate's always have a place in life. Oh, is it Roland Murray? Yeah, Great baby. Actually, and there's a half cake. We love it, but I'm going to put it back. Okay, girls, do you come up with anything? Do you want to show us anything you come up with? Gucci bag. I just like the chain. Also quite subtle, like it's not too... Desiring. Yeah. So me, yeah. when I look at this, I would think, does it look too tired already? That's yeah. That's why one thing, it's like there's some wear there. Yeah. I think the concept is good because this, as a pattern, yeah. Gucci have used over and over, over and over. Yeah, exactly. So it's kind of like gone in and gone out of fashion. That is actually a really beautiful coat if you're quite classic and you want something that feels timeless. It's sort of something like, I'm gonna say this, I would've got it for my mother. You know, because it's a beautiful piece, it's beautifully cut, it's not sharp and hard mm. in any way. But that's 250 pounds, and originally that probably would've been about 800 pounds. I had this dress, isn't that fun? 225, and that's not bad for an Adam dress. Yeah. That. Really yeah. I can imagine yeah. you having that. Yeah, it's a nice era of Chloe. How would you feel if it was an animal? Oh, I wouldn't buy it. And what do you think? It's an animal. 380. I'm going to say 250. It's 1,100. 1,100 would not happen, but this is also a crocodile, so we're not going to go there. Okay, these are two bags that are only between one and three years old, because this Celine, before, even when Heavy Slamane, thank you, started designing for Celine, I think this is one of the designs he did. Colour beautiful, crossbody, what it was, or is it too bulky? Crossbody you could do with a thick coat, yeah. not with a light dress like this. And then this one is, the, and I have a white version of this, but mine is a more structured fabric, so they did them in a hard fabric and they did them in the soft fabric. And I preferred the hard fabric, I got it in the village <laughs> yeah. for like 350 pounds. 
Okay, how much are they, ladies? Tampons. So this one is eight hundred ninety-five. So how much for this one? It's one thousand two hundred. Thank you so much for letting us know. You're today. welcome. Okay. <laughs> so think about it for this month, and think about it just for your wardrobe. How can you buy more second-hand things and make them feel fresh and as new and as joyful as your relationship might have been of buying something new? Thank you.